uh, theranostics is in nuclear medicine around for uh, probably around for my lifetime uh, almost. Um, theranostics is the combination of therapy and diagnostics. That's where the uh, where this like combination word comes from. So what it means is, and everybody uses the catch, catchphrase is that what you see is what you treat. So what happens in theranostics very basically is you you have a molecule uh, which can detect certain diseases, certain cells. Let's take the example of PSMA. PSMA is one of our radiopharmaceuticals and it stands for prostate-specific membrane antigen. It's not prostate-specific at all, but it works very well for prostate cancer. We're bad at naming stuff. <laughs> so when we take the case of PSMA, uh, PSMA, the molecule detects prostate cancer in the prostate, in lymph node metastasis, in distant metastasis. Um, if you label or if you link this um, this molecule with a linker and then an emitter, so something which is emitting radiation, which you can then detect on the outside in a PET system, for example, or in a SPECT system, then um, then you can obviously see the disease, where it is, how widespread it is, how much disease burden there is. If you then change the emitter to a therapeutic emitter, so lutetium in uh, what is currently being used, or actinium, which is currently being used, then you can actually treat these areas which you previously saw on your images. So this is where it comes from. What you see is what you treat. And because we can see compared to uh, to MR or CT, for example, we can com uh, we can see very much down to uh, to a certain degree of cellular level. Um, these are uh, now new options and therapies which which we can offer to a wide range of patients for neuroendocrine tumors, for example, for prostate cancer uh, patients, for example, um, where we detect where the disease is and can offer now an additional treatment. It's not a um, not a treatment which erases everything else what patients have before, but it's an additional pillar, an additional treatment which we can now use for pe uh, for patients to offer to prolong their life, partly even cure them maybe, and um, and all that with a good quality of life. So let me see if I get this right. So what you're saying is, uh, in traditional imaging, we are able to identify an abnormality only when it reaches a certain size. Below that, they are too small to be identified. But what you are doing is developing these traces which can identify tiny molecules on a cellular level. So these traces just go and find out that particular cell with that molecule and links to it. And either you put a light bulb kind of thing on it so that it can tell you where that abnormal cell is, or you give it some radiation so that it can literally kill those cells. It's like the ultimate killing machines in which it targets abnormal cells on a cellular level, but it just leaves the normal cells completely fine. Is, is that what Theranostics is about? This is mainly what it is about. It does not leave everything else um, alone. It obviously circulates, uh, but it accumulates mainly there what we saw in the images, for, exa uh, for example. And there are certain limitations because you have excretion pathways for those radiopharmaceuticals. It's been excreted through the kidneys or through the liver. Um, and there are limitations, obviously, how much dose we can give. Like with every other therapy, there are always limitations, or in general in medicine, there are always limitations to certain certain therapies, what we're doing. Um, but this is essentially the concept of, uh, of theranostics, correct.